Welcome to the Southeast Regional Final of the 2021 Queensland Training Awards. These awards celebrate our stars of vocational education and training and the great contribution the sector makes to communities across Queensland. This year also marks the award's very special Diamond Jubilee. So as we celebrate our top achievers in training, we also acknowledge the last 60 years and the great tradition of recognising excellence and the life-changing power of skills. This year, 19 inspiring individuals and 11 local businesses and organisations have been selected as our region's finest examples of success and innovation in training. We recognise the region's best apprentices, trainees, vocational students, vet teachers and trainers, as well as employers and community-based organisations that provide quality local training and employment opportunities. Our regional winners will continue on to represent the South East region in the state final of the 2021 Queensland Training Awards in September. The Queensland Government is pleased to have this opportunity to showcase the remarkable stories and contributions our finalists are making across the South East region. We begin with our acknowledgement of country, followed by a message from the Honourable Dai Farmer MP, Minister for Employment and Small Business and Minister for Training and Skills Development. The Queensland Training Awards acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the countries across Queensland and pay our respects to Elders past and present. We acknowledge that this land was and continues to be walked on by Aboriginal peoples and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Always was, always will be. Congratulations for reaching the regional finals of the 2021 Queensland Training Awards. What a major achievement. You must be all so proud to be here and I'm sure your family and friends and the people who are teaching you are so proud of you as well. This is our 60th year of celebrating training in Queensland and so we should as well. We need to really shine a light on the people who are doing wonderful things and we know that skills and training, if you get the right training to get the right skills for the right job, then it can be absolutely life-changing. So we're doing our bit by funding things like free TAFE and apprenticeships for under 25s, Certificate 3 guarantee, a whole range of things, supporting TAFE uh, to an enormous extent. That's, that's our bit. Your bit is about doing your best and working really hard and being a great example for other people coming before you. So well done to every single one of you. As I've traveled around the state, I've had the opportunity to meet uh, many of our students and, and some of the people who are going to be looking at this video now. And I've just been so delighted at hearing the stories of what you've been doing. Doesn't matter who you are or where you are in Queensland, you deserve to have access to the best quality training and, um, and you're showing how important that training is. So fingers crossed and, um, and I hope you really enjoy this time. The Queensland Training Awards are this state's ultimate accolade for working smarter through training. They are a spectacular celebration of how we can all work together to achieve common goals. The winners of the Queensland Training Awards are workplace champions. Not only being nominated, but winning the award was an incredible honour for me because it meant I'd been recognised for my years of hard work into my training pathway. Winning the Trainee of the Year for Queensland supercharged my career. So winning the Training Award gave me a lot of confidence about that my skills and my experience were valuable. I remember it clearly to today. I remember being nominated and then being successful as a finalist. Winning the Queensland Training Award was a huge reward for the effort during an apprenticeship. It really did confirm that, that I'd taken a good path. My vet pathway started when I was in year 10, when I completed my certificate three in multimedia, and then moved on to complete my diploma in graphic design, and then moved on to university. Training gave me the confidence and the skills 
to know that I can do anything. So I gained a career from training and it allowed me to, to travel the world, but it also gave me the confidence to actually develop, I guess, into to who I am today. Training's always been a huge part of my career. When I wanted to start my own business, I knew I had to train myself up. I really believe that my training gave me a real life pathway to transition from school life into full-time employment. I believe employers are looking for people who are willing to learn. My advice to someone starting out would be to aim high. Seek out the best employer who's going to give you the best training. I honestly believe Keep a lookout for a mentor, someone who can help you with their experience and their skills. I think for the future of skills, uh, it will continue to adapt. It'll adapt in line with the industry specific to what it is. In the future, I see a rapidly changing workforce where we're constantly encouraged to invest in our skills and our future. Celebrating excellence in training is valuable because it, it highlights to other young people the range of diversity of careers that are available. It really affirmed for me that I had chosen the right career path. There was a great recognition of my skills. For people starting out, experiment as much as you can to find what you love doing and then use training to turn that into your career. If I want to get somewhere, I have to train. I would absolutely recommend entering the Queensland Training Awards. It is a wonderful reward for uh, hard work that you do put in to an apprenticeship or to any sort of training or something that you've committed to and really put a lot of effort into. The power of skills is the ability to pursue your passion. Thank you Minister Farmer for your welcome. And we also hope you enjoyed meeting some past winners during that look back over 60 years of the awards. We now start award proceedings with our employer and community training initiative categories and follow with our individual categories. The organisation awards honour Queensland employers and community organisations that have made an exceptional contribution to training and development for staff or community groups. Small Employer of the Year this award recognises outstanding achievement in the area of vocational education and training by a southeast region business with 19 or fewer full-time staff. The finalists are Montessori Childcare and Kindergarten Mudrobar Rob Miller Electrical Molendina The American Bourbon Bar and Grill Springwood The winner of the 2021 Small Employer of the Year is Montessori Childcare and Kindergarten. Montessori Childcare and Kindergarten provides the very best in childcare and genuine Montessori education. Its team prides itself in providing the best educational childcare on the Gold Coast. Training is provided to all staff from Certificate 3 through to Tertiary Pathways. Montessori employ people who are diverse in culture and qualification and believe sharing differences with children is part of their educational journey. Medium Employer of the Year The Medium Employer of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement in the area of vocational education and training by a Queensland business with between 20 and 199 full-time staff. The finalists are Darwala Group Mount Cotton SeaWorld Cruises Main Beach The winner of the 2021 Medium Employer of the Year is SeaWorld Cruises. SeaWorld Cruises co-directors are passionate about developing and training the next generation of tourism business operators, skippers and marine crew. The business's seven vessels provide the ideal training platform for tourism and marine trainees, supporting on-the-job training in a real-world environment. In early 2021, SeaWorld Cruises had 31 staff members undertaking training, including traineeships in maritime operations and business, equating to 55% of its total workforce. Large Employer of the Year 
This award recognises outstanding achievement in the area of vocational education and training by a Queensland business with 200 or more full-time staff. The finalists are Frizzell Sunshine Automotive Southport Fulton Hogan Industries Ormo Scenic Rim Regional Council Bow Desert The winner of the 2021 Large Employer of the Year is Frizzell Sunshine Automotive. A local family-owned business, Frizzell Sunshine Automotive has grown to be Australia's largest private automotive group. Frizzell takes great pride in its commitment to workforce development, with up to 94% of staff members currently undertaking some form of training. By June this year, there were 175 active apprentices and trainees across its group operations, with qualifications ranging from automotive servicing technology to sales and business management. These employees are a testament to Frizzell Sunshine Automotive's dedication to providing its employees with the training and support they need to ensure the best possible service for customers. My training has changed my life in the way that obviously uh, making money day to day and uh, being able to afford things like a first home and that, but also just the fact of the, the, the people I've met along the way and the skills I've learnt. Training has changed my life in a very positive way. It means I get to wake up every morning, know that I'm going to make people's lives a lot easier and their daily lives happier. My training has changed my life as it gave me a head start opportunity into a career option that I really wanted to grow into. I've definitely opened my eyes up to the industry. Um, definitely after the training it was like, this is it for me. It's helped our business and family a lot, how much effort I put into study, training and where it takes me and how it helps our business. Advice I would give to others would just be to go for it and not be narrow-minded and set on one thing and open to any opportunities that come your way. Come in very open-minded and they can ask a lot of questions. The advice I'd give to others would be, you know, try new things, don't let anything scare you and just be yourself. I would say to follow your path and your dreams and to keep your interests and passions at heart. A lot of learning to school and I have a job and I love it. The training I've received has changed my life. It has enabled me to achieve my goals of becoming an enrolled nurse. It's never too late to change your life around and to follow your dreams and go for it. Just go for it. If I were to give advice to career changers or new starters looking into going into training, I would definitely say just go for it. Take the risk, trust your intuition. No one knows you better than you do. Community Training Initiative of the Year. The Community Training Initiative of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement by a community-based, not-for-profit organisation that provides assistance to Queenslanders who need support to gain the skills, experience and vocational education and training qualifications required to enter and stay in the workforce. The finalists are Running Wild Youth Conservation Culture Incorporated, Maclay Island Program. Paddock to People. The Baptist Union of Queensland, Karinity Boona, Program, Community Work Skills, Caring Communities. The Migrant Centre Organisation Incorporated, Southport. Program, Migrants Matter 8 and Workable. The winner of the 2021 Community Training Initiative of the Year is the Migrant Centre Organisation Incorporated. The Migrant Centre, also known as TMC, is a leading provider of multicultural training and employment services assisting newly arrived Australians, people from disadvantaged backgrounds and the long-term unemployed. TMC considers the Skilling Queenslanders for Work initiative a stepping stone for job seekers to gain economic participation and runs two programs, Migrants Matter and Workable, through its funding. Both produced employment outcome rates of 77% in 2020. It's time to celebrate our seven individual award categories. Vet Teacher or Trainer of the Year 
This award recognizes the outstanding achievement by a vet, teacher or trainer providing nationally recognized training to students at a registered training organization or in partnership with a registered training organization. The finalists are Emily Quirk, City Venue Management Matt Foster, TAFE Queensland Ricky Naker, Australian Institute of Learning The winner of the 2021 Vet Teacher or Trainer of the Year is Matt Foster. Drawing on his experience as a rugby league player and trainer, as well as his fitness qualifications, Matt Foster teaches across three areas, fitness, sport and first aid. Faced with the challenges of 2020, Matt developed an innovative online delivery approach that enabled him to continue teaching the practical elements of his coursework. This successful approach was shared across TAFE Queensland Gold Coast as part of the organisation's wellness strategy. Equity Vet Student of the Year The Equity Vet Student of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement by an individual in overcoming a significant barrier or disadvantage to effectively participate in VET. The finalists are Danielle Sloan, Certificate 2 in Hospitality, Training Provider, Designer Life, Employer, Java Train Cafe. Glenn Stacy, Certificate 3 in Individual Support, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Trinity James Quinn, Certificate 2 in Horticulture, School, Manoa State High School, Post Employer, Aveo Southport Gardens, Group Training Organisation, Business Success Group, Training Provider, LT Training. The winner of the 2021 Equity Vet Student of the Year is Glenn Stacy. Glenn Stacy is no stranger to overcoming challenge, but finding satisfying and sustainable employment was something Glenn struggled with for some time. As a deaf person, Glenn's preferred language is Auslan and he faces challenges every day such as difficulty using a phone. Through his community, Glenn learned about deaf support workers and thought this would be the perfect career for him. With hard work, dedication and support, Glenn was able to complete his Certificate 3 in Individual Support and gain employment as a support worker. The things I love most about what I do is being able to care for people in their most um, vulnerable times. Being able to help people every day, whether that be you know just a normal conversation about specific exercises or taking a more in depth with nutrition. I love the part where like we get to build the rapport with the patients and being that support person for the patients. Being outside and um, working with mates are probably some of the best things about what I do. What most of thank me. They my clients smiling, safe and happy. Learning more and more about just the, the cars and everything about the cars and every, everything in general, I just love being around them. The motivation I have is being able to see everything grow right from the start and being able to help others in the same way that I've been helped as well. What motivates me is my family. Uh, my family's been helping me through lots of things same with here, um, Avea has helped me as well. They've helped me brighten my mood up and see where I've, see where I've become and it's made me happy. What motivates me is um, probably empowering people, uh, giving people that opportunity uh, with uh, skills and qualifications to go out and um, do the best that they can with that knowledge. I'm very passionate about what I do. I really found my path here. I always want to see how I can improve in my work. My motivation is my mum who recently passed away. She's the reason why I originally started barbering and I would love to finish and make her proud. School-Based Apprentice or Trainee of the Year The School-Based Apprentice or Trainee of the Year Award recognises the achievements of students who undertake a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship as part of their school studies. 
the finalists are. Bree Connell, Flagstone State Community College, Certificate 3 in Barbering, Employer, Murphy's Barbershop, Training Provider, MIG Training Group. Erin Walsh, Shayla Park State High School, Certificate 3 in Individual Support, Host Employer, Vicente Victoria Point, Group Training Organisation, Osmac Apprenticeships, Training Provider, Mater Education. Max Fletcher Minot, Benoa State High School, Certificate 2 in Automotive Underbody Technology, Host Employer, Paul's Narang Mechanical Shop, Group Training Organisation, Business Success Group, Training Provider, MTA Institute. The winner of the 2021 School-Based Apprentice or Trainee of the Year is Bree Connell. Bree Connell's schooling turned a corner when she enrolled in a Certificate 2 in Salon Assistant. This small step towards her goal of being a hairdresser ignited her passion for training and helped her re-engage with education. With improved attendance and achievement in the classroom, Bree's trainer was delighted and supported her to begin a school-based apprenticeship at Murphy's Barbershop. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Student of the Year The Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Student of the Year Award recognises the outstanding achievement by an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander student within the Queensland Vet sector. The finalists are Kaya Bob, Certificate 3 in Individual Support, School, Mabel Park State High School, Host Employer, Logan Hospital Metro South Health, Group Training Organisation, Osmac Apprenticeships, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Neymar Cameron, Diploma of Accounting, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Trent Hall, Certificate 3 in Hospitality, Training Provider, Prestige Service Training. The winner of the 2021 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Student of the Year is Kaya Bob. After completing the Health Hub program and a Certificate 2 in Health Support Services, Kaya Bob found her passion for helping others and decided to continue her training. Kaya is now working towards a Certificate 3 in Individual Support as part of a school-based traineeship. Balancing schoolwork and on-the-job training has been challenging, but Kaya has focused on finishing her qualification and achieving her goals. Vocational Student of the Year The Vocational Student of the Year Award is for outstanding achievement by a student who recently completed a VET qualification in Queensland. The finalists are Neymar Cameron, Diploma of Accounting, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Tanya Wells, Diploma of Nursing, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Trent Hall, Certificate 3 in Hospitality, Training Provider, Prestige Service Training. The winner of the 2021 Vocational Student of the Year is Tanya Wells. After working in aged care for three years, Tanya Wells decided it was time to take the plunge and expand her skills by beginning her nursing training. Over two years, while juggling part-time work and family commitments, Tanya worked hard to complete her Diploma of Nursing. She was delighted to achieve both her study and career goals, securing a permanent position as an enrolled nurse at Gold Coast Private Hospital. Being nominated personally means that I'm doing something right in the industry. It just shows that the dedication and the hard work that I've put in towards this industry. Being nominated for me is a huge honour. It's more so a reflection of the amount of students that we've been able to put through the program and the impact that we've had on their life. Being nominated for the training award means the absolute world to me. It really goes to show that my hard work can have gratifying results. A lot of recognition about how far I've come, all the people that have helped me along my journey. A real sense of pride in what I've learned and what I'm doing and a real sense of community as well. I wasn't actually aware of it at the time but I think I was pretty fortunate to 
get nominated by my trainer and um, obviously he's seen something in me and, and it's, a, it's a chance to prove him correct, I guess. It means a lot in the way of what I can do, um, how I can show my kids and the other kids we have in our care of what they can do, even if you haven't come from the best. I was like, wow, I am achieving something that I never thought I would. Being nominated to me means a big achievement. It's something big, never had something like this happen, so it's a real good feeling. Being nominated means that someone actually took notice of how much effort I was putting into my work. Being nominated means to me that both my employer and my school teacher have seen my hard work and dedication I've put into my training and I'm proud of that. We did would allow me to that people with fit Billy can overcome Eddie Barry and achieve the dream. Bob Marshman Trainee of the Year. The Bob Marshman Trainee of the Year Award recognises the outstanding achievement by a student who recently completed a traineeship in Queensland. This award honours the late Bob Marshman, a former Director General of the Department of Employment and Training, who is recognised as one of the foremost authorities on vocational education and training in Australia. The finalists are Ashley Tomlinson, Certificate 3 in Sport and Recreation, Host Employer, Logan City Council, Group Training Organisation, Maxima Training Group, Training Provider, Australian Training Company. Isabella Robertson, Certificate 3 in Events, Host Employer, Logan City Council, Group Training Organisation, MEGT, Training Provider, One Step Further Training. Tashana Cartes, Certificate 3 in Business Administration, Host Employer, FME Financial Services, Group Training Organisation, East Coast Apprenticeships, Training Provider, Axiom College. The winner of the 2021 Southeast Region Bob Marshman Trainee of the Year is Ashley Tomlinson. Ashley Tomlinson's passion for the fitness industry and strong desire to learn saw her complete her Certificate 3 in Sport and Recreation six months ahead of time. Seeing an opportunity to gain further skills, Ashley also completed a Certificate 4 in Allied Health Assistance, all within the original traineeship completion timeline. Ashley has now secured her dream job supporting people to reach their health goals. Harry Horn's Child Apprentice of the Year. The prestigious Harry Horn's Child Apprentice of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement by a student who recently completed an apprenticeship in Queensland. This award is named after the late Harry Horn's Child, who was Commissioner for Training in Queensland from 1990 to 2000. Harry was an icon of trade training and was a tireless advocate for vocational education and training in Queensland. The finalists are Blake Ashby, Certificate 3 in Carpentry, Employer, Impress Building, Training Provider, Blue Dog Training. Sam Raper, Certificate 3 in Plumbing. Employer, Paul Gray Plumbing Services, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Zoe Deprake, Certificate 3 in Cabinet Making. Employer, Maritimo Labor, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. The winner of the 2021 Southeast Region Harry Horn's Child Apprentice of the Year is Sam Raper. Gaining a mature age apprenticeship was a challenge for Sam Raper, but one he was keen to take on. Sam's commitment to the industry put him in a good position to take the opportunity with both hands when it arose. Having now completed his Certificate 3 in Plumbing, Sam is continuing his studies as he works towards his next goal of a plumbing contractor licence. So congratulations to all the original finalists and the winners. This is absolutely 
amazing. You have done so well. And of all of the stories I've heard um, of the things everyone has done, even to get to the regional finals, what amazing competition and to have come this far is just a huge achievement. We need to be really shining a light on the power of skills and what it can do to change people's lives. And, uh, and so now I'm really looking forward to seeing people at the gala event in September in Brisbane. And it's going to be a great night to celebrate. Well done, a huge congratulations, and please know how proud we all are of you. Thank you, Minister Farmer. This closes the 2021 Southeast Regional Final of the Queensland Training Awards. Once again, congratulations to our 2021 finalists and winners. You should be very proud of your achievements. Category winners will now represent the region at the state final in Brisbane. Follow us on Facebook at Skills for Queensland for finalists and winner profiles and more exciting award news. And stay tuned for details on how to secure a seat at September's state gala event. Congratulations all and good luck. Our skills power is to be able to assist our people in achieving their full potential. My skill power is creating learning opportunities that are innovative, fun and engaging. Our skill power is our commitment to training. We provide multiple training opportunities specifically designed for our people. My skills power would have to be the fact that I get to work with friends every day. My skill power is that I get the community to smile every time they walk into one of our events. My skill powers are communication and adaptability. Building community capacity through quality training and employment outcomes. We are committed to providing the support and tools necessary to improve your skills and education. Having the opportunity to support and care for residents where they need it. Tailored training for our employees to deliver customer focused services to our communities. Having the opportunity to identify coping mechanisms for my own abilities and using them as strengths in the workplace. Empowering the migrant communities to find sustainable employment. To make a difference in the workplace from day one. Delivering quality training also assists our staff to provide fantastic customer service and allow them to progress through our industry. Our skills power is our ongoing commitment to delivering the highest quality training to all of our staff. Our skills power is developing young marine tourism personnel into industry leaders. My skill power is connection. Connecting with my students to create a user-friendly environment. Embracing technology, connecting students to subject information despite COVID pressures. And connecting students to industry by creating industry visits and workshops. Sounds like a superhero, doesn't it? Captain Connection. <laughs>